Good evening and welcome to our special annual year-end Politically Incorrect show. It's special because this is the show where I try to do something different from the rest of the year. Namely, act nice. <laughs> yes, this is our fruit basket show where I give a thumbs up and a fruit basket to the people in the year 2000 who I think did something right. And the panel tells me I'm insane, so <laughs> don't go away. One of these might be for you. Ladies and gentlemen, the star of Politically Incorrect, Bill Maher. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. What a crowd. What a crowd, I tell you. All right, let's meet our panel. She's a writer from the Independent Women's Forum, Charmaine Yost. Charmaine, where are you? There you are. <laughs> How are you, sweetheart? Thank you very much for coming. He is one of the young and the restless stars of the Young and the Restless weekdays at 11 on another network, Joshua Morrow. Hey, how you doing, man? Thanks for coming. He is a talk show host and NBA champion from the Los Angeles Lakers, and he's my buddy, John Sally. How are you? <laughs> and one of the most controversial comedians ever. His new CD is Face Down, Ass Up. And he and I will be, that's right, we're doing a show together. What a bad idea that is, but we're going to do it. We're going to be together at the Celebrity Theater in Phoenix, February 2nd. Andrew Dice Clay. Hey, what are you doing over here? I'm All over right. here. Well, uh, this is our, uh, I guess, uh, wow, look at that. What does that look like to you? <laughs> uh, moss. Some moss. Doesn't look like moss to me. Uh, these are some very special fruit baskets, apparently. Uh, There's going to be some holiday joy oh, man, in that right case, through St. Patrick's <laughs> Day. <laughs> wow. Man, that is... One woman, four men. I'm, this is starting off bad. I'm in Why? trouble oh, tonight. <laughs> no, well, what are you expecting? A train? Right. No, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're we are very in control people. You know, it's funny, I Dice mean, and he were just cool with that. Me yeah, and him laughed yeah, and realized yeah. I was off the edge. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'll save you. you know, the yeah. black guy's going to save you. I'm something? counting on you to protect me. Oh, That's you got it. I would protect you. You're here. I know, Bill. Okay. I know. You, all right. All right, relax, honey. You. Everything will be all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> I mean. Well, the first time's the hardest. <laughs> this, is, this is so anti-California. You know, my hotel even has a sign that says, you know, be careful, there might be cigarette smoke in this hotel. Oh, my really? God. Is yeah, that true? it does. I, right. I thought, man, this is a parallel universe. Well, California. I'd like to give a fruit basket to you because you're smoking on my show. Oh, because you know what? <laughs> this is uh, There you go. That's for me. Yeah, that's... Oh, nice. Now, I want Dice to have a fruit basket because he played, this is my favorite comedian, and he played... Thanks a lot. Well, well he is, and he, and he played Madison Square Garden again and sold it out, and I couldn't be there. That's why, that's, that's oh, my thank man. You. Well, thank you. I that's know. a great, you can yeah. feed them to me later, huh, baby? <laughs> <laughs> like in the Roman days. Tree mine. I'm kidding, relax. And I, I'd like to give one to my favorite basketball player, Tree Rollins. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't even have got that joke. Yeah, got exactly. It. All right. Let me give out some of these baskets. Uh, this is one I've given out. Uh, this person has gotten one last year and I think the year before. That is Janet Reno. I've said it before. The, the only one in that administration with any balls. And uh, <laughs> unlike a certain Supreme Court I know, she... Uh, makes decisions based on reason and the law and not partisanship. That uh, is so funny. And you're not even being funny right now, are you? No, and it's not funny. I what, agree with Bill, you. That is what's what's that sad is, is the hate you have. She's that lingerie happened. shop, right? What no, up on the boulevard. No, no, that's Janet not Reno, Janet Reno. 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 No, Attorney General does. Oh. oh, all right. It's a different <laughs> Janet. <laughs> I'm going to spend this whole show just sitting laughing Bill, and looking like an idiot. How, how can you say, Janet? Well, you won't be the first. <laughs> how can you say Janet Reno makes decisions that are based on ethics and not on politics when she goes into Waco with tanks 
And she won't even look into Al Gore's flagrant violation well, of campaign finance Well, she didn't go into Waco. Reform. She went into the Branch Davidian compound, was a, which was an arsenal with a cachet of illegal weapons. She didn't attack the town of Waco. <laughs> Whatever. She attacked a nut. Yes, I know. Who, who burned the compound okay. down himself, yes, but, by the way. Let's not forget that. She didn't burn it down. He predicted he would do it. He was a nut, and he did it. Okay, but the point is... <laughs> Not forget all you the gotta admit, it makes a good point. Well, let's not forget all the innocent. <laughs> well, then I should get one. <laughs> let's not forget all the innocent children that she torched in the meantime. The point was that that I noticed that you want didn't want to address is the fact that she didn't go after Al Gore. She just completely turns a blind eye to all his flagrant also campaign financing. Also, a good thing. No, because but she, my point is, is you're saying that she didn't do it, she wasn't influenced she politically. She refused to appoint a special prosecutor, and by the way, the problem with Washington now is that they have special prosecutor fever. Well, I agree with you there. I do agree with you there, but even so, Democrats agreed that she should have appointed one in that no, case. No, they didn't. No yes, one agreed. they did. I didn't agree. I'm a Democrat. I'm with Bill. I think she got the no, biggest no, balls in the whole administration. Yeah, she didn't appoint a special <laughs> prosecutor to look into Al Gore at his Buddhist Fundraiser. He went to a Buddhist temple, and you know, if there's anyone who I think has their claws in America, it's not the gun lobby, not the tobacco industry, not the oil people, it's the Buddhists. That's who I'm scared of. <laughs> it's the Buddhists. You know, they have got their claws in us, and how can we get out? <laughs> Also, she went and got Elian Gonzalez. That's what she really well, deserves this for. Another yeah. good point. I mean, another that was good a good point. Thing, as right? if, but as if and that then, was uh, Even Tom Hanks, he's got the movie out about that now. Oh, it was a great thing. Cast the way. Oh, he shouldn't have played the part, in my opinion. He's a little too old. It should have been like uh, that uh, Macaulay Culkin guy, I think. Right or wrong? I mean, you know, that was a big deal. No. <laughs> And now he's back with his father in Spanish Harlem, and everybody's happy. I mean, she gets all aggravated over everything. Relax. What show you want? <laughs> what show? You want? It is, it is, what do you do? It what is, do you do? No. It is funny how we had 24/7 Elian Gonzalez, and now that he's back in, under communism, nobody does know what what's under going communism. On with him. He's under his father's roof. Oh, yeah, please. Exactly. Where what are you supposed mean? Supposed to be. His father is not Fidel Castro. He doesn't live with Castro. Yeah, but yeah, you know how. Have you ever been to Cuba? Move that gets no, that kind of most press. people haven't. That's the whole point. Why, yeah, why do you Why do you think it's so wrong for him to be in Cuba? You know what happened one time? I went to uh, we went and hand out gifts. I just wanted to let you know. Did we you went go? to hand out gifts Did in Guantanamo really? Bay for the refugees, and they also had Haitian refugees. Nothing against, it. but you know who they sent back to Haiti? Who? The Haitians. And know who they brought over? What the Cubans? Because they had more power in South Miami. It wasn't yeah. a bad thing, but what they did do, right, everyone's talking about the border and what happened. This kid needs to be with his father. As he's raised with his father, not with I, anyone I, else. I, I did, never understood did. during that whole debate how the Republicans, who were the family values party, could be against a boy being with his one parent. Doesn't being with a parent trump politics or even poverty, which he's not necessarily in more? I saw his house. They had videotape of it before he was even, uh, they had th his house was bigger than the house I grew up in, his room was. He had a video camera, that's poverty? I'm, yeah. I'm, and then know. that. <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing to say about that now. <laughs> I'm, a I'm actually, do you really? If you I was me, I would have said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. My, my point, going back to how we all got started about this, I know you yeah. don't want to re-argue Elian. However, my point was, Janet <laughs> Reno didn't need to go in there with a gun to Elian's head. How come his father what? didn't walk up to the door and say, can I have my son back? Wait, if son? it was a father. Do, do you remember how this thing played out? It was months yeah. that he was in there do. with those drunken kooks. Oh, please. What do you mean she didn't have to go in? They were not giving him up. That was the whole point. The father had been yeah, in, in the house getting all liquored up. This is not a Drunk good image for the kids. Oh, please. You know what I mean? It's not like me and you in a hotel room somewhere having a I, couple I love of this. <laughs> I love this revisionism. All they had to do was ask. Yeah, yeah that's right. All they.
What do you mean all they had to if do was ask? They, went to they would them. not give the kid if up. If it was my kid, I'd have walked up to the front door and said, give me my kid oh, back. They, His they dad weren't allowing that. That's not they, they, they weren't they were allowing it. That. It was his family. He could have tried what it. He didn't even try. They were saying, he went, he we're holding up, him. He, he flew to we can't, Washington we're not allow and hung to go out back with the Clinton administration and Janet Reno, and they were all buddy-buddy. And Remember that's the human chain? Back to Janet Reno. There was a human chain of Cubans. Remember that? A human chain of unemployed people. He didn't even try. Around that house. He didn't even try. She didn't try? He what? didn't. No, his father didn't try. I don't know, Dice. He's pushing you for one of his, my favorite comedians right uh, now. Uh, you know, he, he's very good. I got you know, oh, I gotta watch I'm going to gonna quit while I'm ahead. We'll take a break, and I'll hope <laughs> that when I come back.